Okay, good morning, everyone, and welcome to morning prayer. Let's dive straight in today. Okay. Oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall open in your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all, to you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time, you made us in your image. And in these last days, you have spoken to us in your son, Jesus Christ, the word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your spirit ever renew our lives and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So... Um, Jenny, if you'd help me with some, you'll have, you'll have to share the screen. Um, oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, let me do that. It's only because my phone isn't powering on. I don't know what's going on. It's fully charged, but it's not. Yeah. Okay. Psalm, Psalm 17. Okay. Okay, I'll do it with you, yeah? Yeah. Hear my just cause, O Lord, consider my complaint. Listen to my prayer, which comes not from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes behold what is right. Weigh my heart, examine me by night, refine me, and you will find no impurity in me. My mouth does not trespass for earthly rewards. Have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast in the ways of your commandments. My feet have not stumbled in your paths. I call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and listen to my words. Show me your marvellous loving kindness, O Saviour, of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who assault me, from my neighbours who surround me to take away my life. They have closed their heart to pity and their mouth speaks proud things. They press me hard, they surround me on every side, watching how they may cast me to the ground. Like a lion that is greedy for its prey, like a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, Lord, confront them and cast them down. Deliver me from the wicked by your sword. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand, from those whose portion in life is unending. Whose bellies you fill with your treasure, who are well supplied with children and leave their wealth to their little ones. As for me, I shall see your face in righteousness. When I awake and behold your likeness, I shall be satisfied. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, shall be forever. Amen. So what do you make of that psalm? Hear my just cause, O Lord. Consider my complaint. Oh, excuse me. Um, any thoughts? Mm -hmm. It seems as for prayer for. I think he's praying. He, it sounds like he's a prayer to God for like um, his mercy and his consideration. Yeah, and his protection. Protection. Yeah. Um, and justice. Yes. Yeah. 
All right, we'll scroll down. Oh my gosh, this is where we have to click through, but never clicks through properly on here. So that's no good. Um, so anyone able to click through to the Chronicles passage on your phone? I could not either. Who? Uh, In passing. John, can you do that? I, I, well, I don't know. I've just my, got to that. I, my phone I is up now, Martin. What, what is it? I, I just, Bisola, does it click through on yours? Yeah, but my phone, phone is frozen. I don't know why. Oh, okay. My phone is, I'm up now, Martin. On my oh, phone. is it all right? Well, um, John, have you got it? No. In that no, case, Jenny, you read it, Jenny. Yeah? Okay. And I'll stop sharing. Okay. Do we need the sh screen share anymore? No, because my phone is up. Thanks. All right. First Chronicles tw 21, 1 to 20. First Chronicles 21, 1 to 22, 1. Okay. Can't hear you, Jenny. Yeah, it's. I'm, I've clicked on it, but it doesn't seem to be. I think that's happening to all of us because my phone is frozen when I'm Oh, don't worry. Okay. I've got okay. the real thing here. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's not coming up. My point. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I will read it from the great book. Um, one sec. I just need to find Chronicles. Right. One Chronicles 21. Uh, okay. Right. Oh, my goodness. It's ridiculously long passage. I will skip over it a bit. All right. Uh, it's about this census that uh, David has brought, has um, done, and now that it's going to bring a pestilence. Then Satan moved, sorry, so then Satan stood up against Israel and moved David to number Israel. So David said to Joab, that's his um, general, and to the princes of the people, go number Israel from Sheba and even to Dan and bring me word that I may know their number. Joab said, may the Lord add to his people a hundred times as many as they are. But my Lord, the king, are they not all my Lord's servants? Why does my Lord seek this thing? Why should be he be a cause of guilt to Israel? So Joab warns David, this is a prideful thing to do. Nevertheless, king's word prevailed against Joab. Therefore, Joab departed and went through all Israel and came to Jerusalem. Um, then there's a bit about numbering. God was displeased with this thing, so he struck Israel. Mm. David said to God, I have sinned greatly in that I've done this thing, but now please take away the iniquity of your servant, for I've done very foolishly. Um, the Lord spoke to Gad, David's seer, saying, go and speak to David, saying, thus says the Lord, I offer you three things. Choose for yourself one of them, which I will do to you. So David is offered three choices. Um, three days of the sword of the Lord, even pestilence in the land. Um, or three years of famine or three months to be swept away before your foes. Anyway, he chooses the pestilence. God sent an angel to Jerusalem to destroy it, for he was about to destroy it. The Lord saw and was sorry over the calamity and said to the destroying angel, it is enough, now relax your hand. Then David lifted up his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord standing between earth and heaven with his drawn sword and his hands stretched out over Jerusalem. David and the elders covered with sackcloth fell on their faces. David said to God, is it not I who commanded to count the people? Indeed, I am the one who has sinned. But these sheep, what have they done? O Lord, my God, please let your hand be against me and my father's household, but not against your people that they should be plagued. Then the angel of the Lord commanded Gad, that's the prophet, to say to David, that David should go up and build an altar to the Lord on the threshing floor of Ornan, the Jebusite. So David went up at the word of Gad, which he spoke in the name of the Lord. Now Ornan turned back and saw the angel and his four sons who were with him 
hid themselves and Ornan was threshing wheat. As David came to Ornan, Ornan looked and saw David and went out from the threshing floor, prostrated himself before David with his face to the ground. Then David said to Ornan, give me the site of this threshing floor that I may build on it an altar to the Lord for the full price you shall give it to me that the plague may be restrained from the people. Ornan said, take it for yourself and let my Lord the King do what is good in his sight. See, I will give the oxen for burnt offerings and the threshing sledges for wood and the wheat for grain offering. I will give it all. But King David said to Ornan, no, but I must surely buy it for the full price, for I will not take what is yours for the Lord or for a burnt offering, which cost me nothing. So David gave Ornan 600 shekels of gold, blah, blah, blah. Then David built an altar to the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. And he called to the Lord and he answered him with fire from heaven on the altar of burnt offering. The Lord commanded the angel and he put his sword back in its sheath. That's a relief, isn't it? <laughs> um, at that time, when David saw that the Lord had answered him on the threshing floor of Ornan and the Jebusite, he offered sacrifice there. For the tabernacle of the Lord, which Moses had made in the wilderness and the altar of burnt offerings were in the high place at Gibeon at that time. But David could not go before it to inquire of God, for he was terrified by the sword of the angel of the Lord. Then David said, this is the house of the Lord God, and this is the altar of burnt offering for Israel. So this is a story that we've we've read, Bible reading group people, um, in the book of Kings. But you know that Chronicles kind of repeats these stories and just tells them slightly differently. But you'll probably remember this story of how David does this census, like counting up how many men he's got. Wow, look at me, I'm so big and strong and powerful. I've got all these men at my command. And this is deemed to be a prideful thing and needs to be punished. Um, so yeah, the angel of the Lord stands over Jerusalem with the drawn sword. It's like the sword of Damocles, isn't it? <laughs> over, over the city. Uh, but you know, right? Did you enjoy that? Yeah, yeah, it's good. I like um the faith of Arwana, Arwana. Yes, yes. Yeah. Or Ornan. Uh, Arwana. Oh no, one. no. So which one? Ar Arwana, the man that was going to offer his um. His, yeah. His Threshing. Soul. Exactly. Yeah, he's like, take it, have it for free. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, great. Well, that was good. Um, so let's so, scroll. Uh, Martin, what was what was wisdom? Or what is wisdom? Oh, it's one of the books of the Apocrypha. Uh -huh. uh, I just, uh, I mean, I think maybe because it's so complicated to click through. I think next time we get into Apocrypha bits, we might just read the Apocrypha. Um, they're the books that, um, you know, are not included in the Protestant canon. They're in the Catholic canon. Uh, so that we don't tend to include them in our Bibles. Um, I, I can't say more than that. I can't get into <laughs> the theology of why that may or may not be right or wrong. But, you know, <laughs> I just I, I personally, personally feel I have enough to do getting to grip <laughs> The Protestant canon. <laughs> I've not actually quite got to the point of taking these on yet. Um, but but nonetheless, you know, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with reading them. Okay, so let's scroll down and we'll read Mark 10, 35 to 45. And maybe it's so or, it's, or maybe John, we haven't heard from you for a while. John, would you like to? to read that one, yeah? Uh, particularly since I'm John James, anyway. <laughs> Indeed, you, you, since, since you're in the story yourself. <laughs> you can read it, yeah, all right. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to him and said to him, teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, what is it you want me to do for you? And they said to him, grant us a sit, one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory. Jesus said to them, you do not know what you're asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink or be baptized in the baptism that I am baptized with? 
They replied, we are able. And Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they began to be angry with James and John. So Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. It is not so among you, for whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant. Whoever wishes to be the first among you must be a slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his, give his life a ransom for many. Thank you, John. Uh, so this is a story where you, John, and your brother, <laughs> sons of thunder, uh, come forward and say, we want to be first. We want to be on the top of the pile next to you, Jesus. Um, and then Jesus gives his teaching, which we find uh, many times in the Gospels. In the kingdom of God, the first will be last and the last will be first. So there is no point pushing yourself <laughs> forward, fighting over status. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> but they, they thought they thought it was an earthly kingdom. They didn't realize it was yeah. not earthly. Don't do it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh right. So they got that wrong. And everyone else gets it wrong as well. So mm -hmm. there we are, yeah. Um, right. Let's uh, read our responsory then. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me. Oh my God. God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Make me not, Lord, Lord. 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 Be not far from me. Oh my God. So let's pray, Lord. Uh, thank you for your word and um, thank you for. As reminders of the, the dangers of pridefulness, uh, got um, David into difficult danger, in fact, um, in the first story. And then James and John into trouble when they were prideful and wanted to push themselves forward and be the first. So, Lord, we ask that you take away our sort of anxiety about status. Um, help us to know and enjoy the truth that we are loved by you um, and that we are equal to any other in your sight. So Lord, give us the confidence that comes from, from knowing um, that you love us uh, just as you love all of your children. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Lord, we just also pray for healing and wholeness for Norna Adipitan, for Jenny here with us today, Rob Gaysford, Christopher and Vivian Golis, Evelyn Hannah, Sean Hunt, Pete Jadhav, Dagmar Yankovikova, Maureen Kelly, Anna Lee, who is much better, you'll be pleased to know, uh, John Walton. Karen Sharma, Dia Sharma and the Sharma family and the family and friends of Nick Forster. Lord, bring strength, courage and comfort in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord, I pray particularly for Sam this morning. Yes. Give her strength, Lord. Bring her through this crisis. Help her to bring her family through. And thank you, Lord, for your steadfast and eternal presence and your divine grace. Amen. Amen.
Lord, I bring before you Florence and her family. Mm -hmm. I pray, Lord, that you bring, grant them courage, peace, and comfort at this time, especially for the um, for Florence's brother. The Lord, you'll be with him, O oh Lord. Strengthen him in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, we also lift Zari to you, who's um, moving out of home uh, today, is it, or tomorrow? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. And Lord, um, just ask that you watch over him, protect him, be with him and his friends, and that they will um, have a lovely time, enjoy their time living together, keep them safe, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Lord, thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord, that we could call you our Father. Thank you, Lord, for the many blessings that you bestow on us. And Lord, thank you for loving us with an everlasting love. Lord, we just want to praise you for who you are and for your blessings. With thankfulness, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Almighty God, whose only Son has opened for us a new and living way into your presence, give us pure hearts and steadfast wills to worship you in spirit and in truth through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned us. Lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom come and all the glory are yours. Now, now and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Well, that was a good start to the day, wasn't it? Yes. Um, yes. If you feel yes. all, um, yeah, uh, built up and nourished by yes. having half an hour of prayer. Yes, I've been warned of the dangers of pridefulness, so uh, yes. bear that in mind. Yes. All right, uh, I'll see you soon. Don't forget to come on Have Sunday. Yeah. Reaching this Sunday, expect to see you all in church on Sunday, hopefully. <laughs> uh, we're thinking about, I, I'm writing my sermon today, thinking about, okay, the, continue to think about the generosity of God, yeah, yeah, yeah. living that out yeah? yeah all right have a lovely day thinking about yeah. Om omran he was generous wasn't he yeah spirit. exactly yeah yeah that's the spirit we need uh, does anyone know if elizabeth is away no i don't know uh so would you give her i'm a seeing her i haven't yeah. heard from i'm i'm missed was she at wednesday's prayer no she was not no. called for a few couple few days now actually yeah so maybe would you give her a call leslie i will do and uh, let me know. So she was going away at some point, so she okay. might be. But uh, anyway, right. thank okay. you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone.